Hey guys, me Rebel Chris Tomer here with this afternoon mountain weather update. Let's go to radar out of Salt Lake. Getting hammered here this afternoon. Look at that setup, that lift and that band of snow running right over the top of the Wasatch. Um, I, I don't think it ends until 6, 7, 8 o'clock tonight. And I think you could still add another 3 to 6 inches of accumulation on top of what you've already got. So significant. Tomorrow is going to be a big powder day. No doubt about it. You picked up snow all day today and some more to go tonight before it ends. The snow in the Tetons will end tonight and everything will then pivot and snow hard in Colorado overnight tonight and throughout the day tomorrow. So here's what I'm seeing this afternoon. There's your snow moving out of Utah, Wyoming into Colorado. If you call what we're seeing now Storm 1, there's another one behind it, the main trough. And then there's potentially one or two additional storms between 4.2 and 4.6, 4.7. And so we're going to see big totals. I, all my numbers have gone up in this afternoon's update across the West. So you'll look at those. We'll look at those coming up here in a minute. But you can see the timeline here for additional snow in the Wasatch, Tetons, Colorado, Sierra, and the Northeast. And a note on the Northeast, I've still got big totals this afternoon for 4, 2, 3, 4, and 5, assuming the temperatures stay cold enough. That's been the one variable, the one oscillator. All right, briefly back to water vapor. So this afternoon's update, there's our big trough directing all the traffic. It sent a wave of energy into the interior today. That's why we're seeing the snow. Utah, Wyoming, Idaho, Montana, eventually Colorado. Well, the whole trough itself is going to slip and dig to the south through California and then roll towards the four corners. 3.30, 3.31, 4.1, then exit Colorado, New Mexico on 4.2. And it's all going to happen with the jet. You can see the trough, the dip in the jet coming in close of business today. Well, it makes its move. By 3.30, it's plowing into California, 3.31 and 4.1, moving past the four corners and beyond by 4.2. Then here comes the next pattern shift. Northern Branch buckles, brings in at least one storm with a nice trough here, maybe two storms between 4.3 and 4.7. Um, let me put some precip on top of all this. So there's 5.30 this afternoon. Leftover snow, Tetons, Wasatch, but everything then rolls into Colorado overnight into tomorrow. And then that's gone. Here comes the next storm system out of California. It refires heavy snow in Utah, Idaho, Wyoming, Big Sky, and in Colorado through 4-1. And by late 4-1, 4-2, it's exiting south out of New Mexico. Now here comes the next storm system or systems dropping south out of Canada. And this one really gels into a pretty good looking storm system here. 4-4, four, 5-6 four, with heavy snow potential. All right, so when you add all that up, my latest totals are, are, have all gone up. Most of them have gone up from this morning. Look at these bullseyes. Uh, I mean, up to four feet or more in the Wasatch. So two and a half to four feet potential. Two feet in the Tetons. Two feet for Big Sky. Bridger Bowl. Two feet or more for Red Lodge. In Colorado, the western slope could see a foot or two of accumulation. Look at snow mass, anywhere from 15 to 20. Crested Buttes there. Silverton does well. Vale will do well. Um, my numbers for Steamboat, very conservative. I'll probably have to bring those up. Um, so we'll look at that in the next update. But Cameron Pass is high. So great numbers. Looking at probably a couple of feet for Tahoe down to Mammoth during this time period. Let me break it down by time period. So rest of today through tomorrow. I still think you could add three to six in the Wasatch before all is said and done. Things still look impressive on radar, but that it will end tonight. Uh, maybe another inch or two up in the Tetons, and you can see the numbers. Once it develops in Colorado through tomorrow, we see uh, probably three to ten inches across I-70 and north, the central and northern mountain corridor. All right, next time frame. It's a big one, 3.30 through 4.1, 6 to 12 up in the Tetons, potentially one to two feet or more in the in the Wasatch, another two to eight in Colorado. Um, let's go to the last time period. So this takes us into that time period where we get at least one or two storms coming out of Canada, dropping south, and another one to two feet for the Wasatch, and potentially one to two feet there for the Tetons, Big Sky, Bridger Bowl, and Red Lodge. Another two to six, maybe two to seven or eight in Colorado. Okay, last stop is the Northeast, and the numbers remain big. You know, at least a foot. If this holds, we could be looking at two feet in a couple of locations. But again, this happens four, two, three, four, and five with a uh, large storm system. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this afternoon mountain weather update. We'll end on the grand total map with all of the bullseyes on here. And again, anything in purple is over a foot, and that's a lot of places. Lots of snow yet to go through four, six. 
Guys, thanks for tuning in here and take care.